When a volcano explodes, what you'd see is this column of dark material rising up into the sky. And that's what we call volcanic ash. Volcanic ash is not really ash at all. It's made of very fine particles of glass. It's frozen magma shards. It would look like a snowfall, except it's not snow, it's ash. It weighs a lot more than snow. It's going to cause buildings to collapse. It is also very damaging to engines, as it will clog up the air systems, and in the case of airplanes, can coat the engines in a fine film of glass, which stops them working. When volcanic ash falls on power lines, it can coat these lines in a fine layer of volcanic dust. When this becomes wet, it actually becomes conductive, and this can short out the power lines, effectively shutting down the grid. So now we have a giant ash cloud drifting out over East Asia. And volcanic ash is catastrophic for crops. You've ruined the food chain for that year and probably for many years in the future. If you live within a thousand miles of an eruption, your environment could be poisoned for years. The only way you can live through that kind of ash cloud is to seal yourself away. You'd have to create for yourself a closed ecosystem, a mini world that was sealed off from everything else. The term we use for this is a biosphere. A biosphere is essentially something that would simulate life on Earth in a contained environment that might be able to keep out all that's happening on the planet and simulate within it all the processes necessary to keep people, plants, and animals alive. 